If my chin wasn't on the floor of the truck, my mouth would be falling open. And if my chest wasn't on the floor too, my heart would be sinking even further than it is now. I'm not even sure where Australia is. If we did, if we did Australia in geography at school, I must have been daydreaming about football at the time. I think it's a big place, down the bottom of the globe somewhere. All I know for sure is that Australia hasn't got a team in the English Premier League. Where's Australia? says Bibi. A long way away, says Dad, in a voice and I can hear how much he wishes we could stay at home. Australia is a wonderful place to start a new life, says Mum. Her vo weary voice is struggling not to sound sad, but it does. People in Australia are safe and happy and it's too far away for the government to find us. Suddenly the truck gives a lurch and starts to slow down. It stops. I can hear men's voices shouting, Lie still, whispers Mum. Not a sound. Luckily the truck engine is still rumbling and the sides of the truck are rattling so the men outside can't hear the airstrikes going on inside my chest. Mum's hands feels its way to mine and squeezes gently. It helps. I hope she's doing the same for Bibi. Outside, the men are having a conversation with the driver. I can't hear anything they're saying, but the money is mentioned a fair bit. Nobody mentions opening the back of the truck and shooting the sacks, but some of them are probably thinking about it. I reach over with my other hand and grip it onto Dad's. We lie here waiting terrified then one of the men thumps the side of the truck i pray they're not trying to break in i pray it's just a signal to the driver suddenly the truck jolts and moves off the engine whining as the driver changes gears i start breathing again even though the air is freezing our hands are all hot and sweaty dad holds on to mine for a long time goodbye he finally says in a choking voice. At first I think he's saying it to me. Then I realise we must have crossed the border and he's saying it to our country. Mum starts to sob quietly. Dad lets go of my hand to comfort her. I feel like crying too. But instead I reach out and touch my rucksack. I want to check that my football is still packed safely. Just because I've never heard of any Australian football teams doesn't mean there aren't any good ones. I want to get ready for all the practice I can on the way there, so I'm ready. The ball feels fine. My hand pushes against Mum's rucksack. I can feel the candle stick inside. Thanks, I whisper to Mum's ancestors. I won't let you down.